After the initial sutures are removed, the gastrostomy tube should be turned twice a day during the first eight weeks. If your child has a gastrojejunostomy or a GJ tube, do not rotate their tube. The gastric tube should be flushed after each feeding or medication administration with enough volume of water or air to clean the tube. This is typically two to five milliliters. Disconnect and clean the extension tubing with warm water when not in use. Leave the ports open so that it can thoroughly dry. It is important to disconnect the extension tubing when not using the feeding tube so that the tubing does not pull or accidentally dislodge the gastrostomy tube. The feeding tube site should be gently cleaned with soap and water one to two times a day. A Q-tip can be used to dry hard to reach areas in the skin underneath the button. In the first couple weeks following placement, there may be a small amount of yellow or slightly pink drainage at the gastrostomy tube site. Sometimes, as the feeding tube site heals, granulation tissue can form. Granulation tissue is often red, bumpy, or cobblestone-like in appearance. Reach out to the surgery clinic at 816-234-3097 or through the portal if you notice your child has skin breakdown around the G-tube or there is new granulation tissue at the site. Additionally, please reach out if you notice any signs of infection, the tube is leaking or seems blocked, or if your child has persistent vomiting, a bloated or hard stomach, severe pain, or bleeding.